What's going on YouTube? Brax Wolf here, back with another video. And this time, I wanted to talk about e-skate safety and my number one secret that has kept me in one piece throughout these years. An Apple Watch. Psh, they wish. Roll the intro. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking. Brax, you're the last person that should be talking about safety. We're lucky if we get a video from you that you're at least wearing gloves. And you're correct. You're 100% correct. But I have been practicing safety. Alright guys, enough with the bullshit. Pads, gloves, and helmet are important to keep your body and life safe. So I recommend wearing everything until you're comfortable enough on your board and then you can slowly ditch things if you would like. But I wanna talk about something beyond protective gear. Secret number one, don't be afraid to fall. I know it's easier said than done, but falling is part of the game. So the faster you learn how to fall, the more comfortable you will be on your board. For some of you, you still might be tense and, and, and uncomfortable on your board because you're afraid of falling. Your mind is, is aware of at all times that you might fall at any moment, so you're very tense. And I'm not saying just go out there and, and fall on purpose. I'm saying learn how to deal with problems as they come up because they will come up. As with any extreme sport, the athlete must learn how to fall with protective gear or not. It's just something that you must do. Like for example, practice running off your board at lower speeds. Just reduce the speed and, and, and pretend something just stopped at the deck and you had to run off the board. And, and do that at different speeds and, and see how your body adjusts to you running off the board. And, and, and that's what I mean about falling. Learn how to fall. It is very useful. Secret number two, get to know every inch of your board. Adjust yourself while the board is moving. Get used to the whole barrier of the board. I, I've noticed myself in the beginning just not moving, being in the same position for, for you know, what felt like hours, but it was maybe 20 minutes and after I have foot fatigue, everything hurts. And it's just because I was so tense and afraid of moving or maybe readjusting myself. Secret number three, be aware at all times. This secret can keep you safe on your board and throughout life. And I'm probably gonna get so much hate for this video. But again, this is what has kept me alive and I hope maybe you can learn something from it. I get this a lot, but with reasons. People are always like, what if you get hit by a car? And I answer, I won't. And they're saying, what if it does happen though? You don't see it, it's not your fault. A car just runs into you and you're not wearing a helmet. And then I answer again, I won't. And I'm not gonna knock on wood for this one because it's up to me to not get hit by a car. Like getting hit by a car, it's my fault at all times, no matter what. Even if the car is so wrong, if, if the car has fallen from, from, from heavens and it just hits me, it's my fault. It is my fault and I deserved it. That means I let my guard down. Because for, for a long time now, I've been practicing self-aware and trying to be aware of my surroundings at all times. You know, from riding fixies in New York City, um, motorcycles, you always had to be aware of the cars. The cars were always the enemy. So it was my job to be in a place like that. I have to be aware of everything at all times. You know, under me, in front of me, to the sides, behind me, up top, if there's something that my beanie could get stuck on and pulled, you know, that's very important. So that can never happen while I'm riding. It's not the car's responsibility or the driver to keep me safe. And that's how I view things. And that's how I've been able to stay in one piece throughout all these years. And you know, I, I believe that the, the right judgment 
should be there at all times besides the protective gear. And that is all I'm saying with this video, have common sense. So let's go through different scenarios and see what I would do to avoid getting hit. I'll usually stick to the sidewalks when there's fast moving traffic. This could be around rush hour when most of the roads are being taken by asshole drivers trying to get home. So the sidewalk is the safe place to be in most situations. If there's slow moving traffic, I'll ride on the side of the road along the cars. Beware for cars parking, people merging, and drivers opening their doors. So proceed with care. Do not ever try to be respected like a car. Riding amongst the cars will piss off the drivers and it's asking for the worst to happen. Don't put yourself in positions where you're forced to upkeep your speed because you have cars waiting behind you. This is very unsafe. I'll usually ride on the streets freely when I'm the last person behind all the traffic. However, I'll constantly keep looking behind me to make sure no cars have turned into my lane. If a car pulls up behind me, I'll switch to the opposite lane if no income traffic is coming. And if that's not an option, I'll just pull over to the sidewalk. Perform this with care. Always watch every way possible to make sure no car has turned into your current lane. Secret number four, no headphones allowed. I don't wear headphones while I'm riding ever. That, that's just a recipe for disaster in my opinion. Um, I feel like it cuts some of my senses and I can't really hear anything really if a car is coming my way. Then, then yes, that's, that's how I would get hit by a car. So I don't do that. I wouldn't recommend you doing that. If anything, have a little speaker music coming outside from somewhere. Don't really muffle your ears with headphones, especially these like noise canceling headphones. That's just a no, no. No, 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 no. Unless you're on a path or something. But even that, I feel like it still restricts some of my senses and, and I, can't, I can't be spidey with it. So the opposite side is traffic free. The side that I'm supposed to be going, there's cars coming and the road is rough. So we're avoiding that. I see a car coming up. I'm gonna pull to my left because I'm on the wrong here. Once he passes me, I can go back being on the wrong because there's absolutely no cars coming and I can see that for, I don't know, over 200 feet away. Another car just turned into my lane. I'm going to my, my side because there's no cars coming so I can go back to my regular side. And now I'm just going to respect traffic so I can make a left safely. On the left lane, But be mindful, be mindful of the cars, of your surroundings, don't get too comfortable. So that's it guys, once again this is how I stay protected in a world that wasn't built for electric skateboards or even motorcycles I don't think. So you must be aware at all times and, and use your big old brain to, to take care of you beyond the protective gear and I recommend using all the gear that you possibly can like I I am not promoting unsafe riding by any means I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of other things that goes into e-skate safety but it doesn't really get spoken about so if you enjoy the video drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I would really appreciate it we we are climbing faster than ever here and I am so excited but that is all I will see you all in the next video peace out secret number one don't be afraid to fall secret number three 
Be aware of your surroundings at all times. What? 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 Secret number four, no headphones allowed. Secret number five, like and subscribe.